and you're gonna turn it on for these marketing execs. Oh, and you keep using that pissed off little parent tone with me? I might be looking for another manager. And I'm not cluing these marketing execs of what an irresponsible flake you are. You're bluffing. <laughs> Who do you think those marketing execs hang out with, huh? Other marketing execs? You'll never get another endorsement deal offer. All right, fine. Fine. You win. I'll be good in your little meeting. Damon, your 10 o'clock is here. Send him in. Hello? Good morning. Dennis O'Brien. Damon Carter, nice to meet you. Have a seat. Kevin Tucker, nice you. How are you? Nice Pleasure. Hey, how you doing? Someone called, said my car was ready? Um, yeah, Vicky, right? Right. Right, right. Um, well, you can go into the office there. My secretary will get you to sign a release form. You can sign it and get uh, the keys back. Okay, thanks. Right. Uh, hey, boy. Hey. Hi, Ahmad. She does remember me. She didn't wrap me up. Uh, I'm still the man. Hey, uh, Chadwick. We gotta talk. What's on your mind? You're living fat off that city contract you just got. It ain't none of us seen a dime of the money. Yeah, we're working the same hours for the same pay as before, and less money than half the other drivers in town. Yeah. Look, I work my ass off here, Kenny. I just want to be rewarded for my efforts, plain and simple. Yeah, yeah that's right. right. Yeah. All right, well, I heard you out. Let me say something. Well, Tony, do you remember when you got that, uh, that DUI and I let you ride shotgun to help out with the tows until you were able to get your, your, you know, straightened out with your license? I didn't question you about it because I knew you would handle it. Yeah, and you did. And Barry, remember when you, uh, asked me to loan you a month's salary? Oh, man, I didn't tell you I was in the bank. I gave it to you because I knew you were good for it. Now, all of this started because you didn't want to work a Sunday shift that you begged me for so you would have extra cash for your new baby. Well, what's really up with the, the city contract, Kenny? Oh, man, I won't see a nickel of, of this contract until after the first year. That's all it did was made it easier for me to go into that bank and ask for a loan so I can get new trucks. But come on, fellas, I will not hold out on my team. But I have to say that I am disappointed on how easy and quickly you would give up on me. here could help your incubator client get out of his cubby hole knew that was inevitable knowing damon's father the apple never falls very far from the tree well terry may i have the courtesy of your attention for a moment yeah well lawrence and i spoke with a couple of the senior partners we've decided this situation is less than ideal Despite the best of hopes and intentions, this firm is not a good fit for you. I don't... What are you... It's nobody's fault, just oil and water. They don't mix. Huh. From the Alderman Davis situation to that thing you pulled with Robertson Steele, to the way you handle Gina and Chris, we're not comfortable. You're firing me. Well, that's not what we'll say to people, and I invite you to say anything you like. No. I'll say I was fired. If you want to answer those kinds of questions, you're welcome to. No, Ray, you're the one who'll have questions to answer. I brought in more business in the past three months than anyone in this firm. I've billed more than anyone, and I haven't lost a single case. 
This is the kind of person Morn Freeman fires. I'm not going to get into polemics, so cool down. I'm as cool as can be. You can wrap this up in whatever manner you want, Ray. You and I both know I'm being fired because you would rather have people around here who kiss your ass than people who can do the work. I'll expect you off the premises in the next two hours. Obviously, you'll receive a substantial settlement. Obviously. Everything. 